Hello, in this video we will discuss about the African sleeping sickness uh, disease. So it is also known as the African trypanosomiasis. So the African trypanosomiasis is due to the CC fly which that will bite the person. After the biting the person there are several symptoms and signs which that show. So in this way the education about the transmission, symptoms, diagnosis, prevention and treatment we will discuss in this video. So the transmission through a CC fly bite, when bite their, uh, their saliva will contain a protozoa. This protozoa is known as the trypanosoma brucei or the trypanosoma rodensi which that is another uh, family uh, another species so basically the trypanosoma brucei which that will enter during the uh, feeding uh, through cc fly when skin so this is the skin and blood vessel when pass into the blood vessel the protozoa trypanosoma will replicate after the replication increase the number of trypanosoma inside so this protozoa will target to the brain organs and tissue it will grow in the blood and lymphatic system it will eventually go into the baby in pregnant woman and it can be transmitted through blood transfusion organ transplantation and contaminated syringe so this is the transmission of the uh, trypanosoma so let's begin to understand the symptoms so the, if we will discuss about the skin, so the skin, the bump on skin will arise in two days to two week. And the blood lymph node which that when transmit in blood and lymph, our period of week or month causes fever, chills, headache, muscle and joint pain, as well as the swelling of the face. So when the chronic infection will lead to brain and cerebral spinal, spinal fluid uh, attack and this is the cerebral spinal fluid when brain and the cerebral spinal fluid affect cause headaches that is a continuously headache and this is the cerebral spinal fluid become persistent and the problem in walking and balancing and drowsiness versions fall asleep in middle or activity and work between the work uh, we can sleep without any understanding so this is the symptom which that is about the problem in walking and the balance and drowsiness version uh, drowsiness and the fall asleep in middle of activity uh, as well as work so let's begin to understand the diagnosis. So what is the diagnosis? So uh, uh, in the patient, the analysis of the cerebrospinal fluid by taking as a sample as well as taking the blood for the uh, analysis to understand the examination of a sample of blood or fluid from a lymph node and check the WBC count in blood as well as we can understand through antibodies production due to the inflammation increase and the bone marrow we can also check so if the if the test will be positive so we go into the treatment and in this way if infection not spread to the brain and cerebral spinal fluid so we can treat differently if the uh, infection spread to the brain and sp cerebral spinal fluid in this way the in this way we can treat differently with different drug so how to use this treatment so let's begin to understand if infection not spread to the brain and cerebral spinal fluid so basically we can use this medication this is the surami for rodiensis and the uh, uh, penta pentaamidine, which that is the um, a preferred for gambians. This is the two type of species, which that is related to the same genera. 
and in this way here is the injection into muscle or intravenously which that we can inject our muscle or intravenously we will discuss also what is the intravenous on the other hand the vaccinidazole is sometimes used for trypanosoma brucey gambians infection in africa on the other hand let's begin to understand the intravenous mean the intravenous mean here is the heart which that is show the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein a right atrium to left atrium a right ve ventricle and left ventricle and also the pulmonary artery and showing in the figure and the vein which that is showing the blue color why the artery which that is showing the red color so here is the vein so intravenous mean inside of the vein we can inject the drug as a an injection and for the treatment so anyhow let's begin to understand if the infection spread into the brain and cerebrospinal fluid if infection will be severe in this way if the infection spread into the brain and cerebrospinal fluid so the uh, um, uh, basically is the um, miller miller soprol miller soprol and if aflori aflorini thine only for gambians and the nephrotity mox in gambia uh, combination with less frequent doses of the fluorinethine and intravenously we can inject this type of the drug and this was the african sleeping sickness so thanks for watching